am Elizabeth Adler, and I am the Executive Director for Chicago Dance Theater Ensemble. And I founded Chicago Dance Theater Ensemble 12 years ago to create a performance with a purpose. We are a multidisciplinary performing arts ensemble that also does outreach programming in the schools. And our performance work that we do is all original and adaptations of works. And this May, May 17th, we are opening up Touch and Mirrors, two original dance theater works that I directed, I've choreographed, and I've written them, and they are all based on the poetry of Rumi. Rumi is a Persian poet who is a mystic, and he started writing poetry in response to his love about nature, the world, the beloved um, fellow human beings. And when he would recite poetry, he used to turn like this, and it's told that he would hold on to a column and he would start to spin around it. Hence, how the whirling dervishes came about. And the whirling dervish ceremony is um, a celebration of life and remembrance of God and the beloved and the connection of all human beings. And Rumi's poetry transcends through time. And in 2010, I was reading his work and I started wondering why is Rumi the most beloved poet? Why is he the number one selling poet of all time? And why is it that so many people all of a sudden start quoting him? And so I started examining more and more of his poetry and started also understanding about how he influenced other writers such as uh, Nietzsche, uh, Walden, and Thoreau, and a lot of other visual artists throughout time. And I started examining his poetry and I fell in love with it more and more. And in 2011, Jack Ryan, who is now our artistic director, him and I collaborated to, to create Mirrors. And Mirrors is a multidisciplinary performing piece, performance piece that um, combines visuals, film. It combines Rumi's poetry. And it is a story about four characters who get confronted with the mirrors of their lives. Because Rumi felt that we bring people into our lives who are mirror images of ourselves. And we are shown both the good and the bad about our personalities. And we are able to examine ourselves and to grow into better people. Or sometimes some people fall even further, so far that we don't even recognize them. And so Mirrors is a multidisciplinary performance piece that has four characters who are confronted by mirror images of themselves.